Walking by these sculptures might give you a little bit of a scare. But do you know how they came to be here? Located in the Bay and Algoma district, these two sculptures, constructed in 2016, are some of the newest works of public art added into the city of Thunder Bay. Made of bronze and weighing 300 pounds each, they depict species of animals native to the area, including deer, black bears, squirrels, birds, and more. The sculptures were made through a process that involved creating a model from taxidermy and actual human clothing, at which point I then made a rubber mold over the entire sculpture, and they were cast in bronze in various sections and then welded together and then finally finished, patinaed and installed. Now the molds cast from bronze were created from pre-existing taxidermy, thus creating the incredible detail you can find in the sculptures. Take a closer look. A lot of community input was considered in the selection of what sculptures would be chosen for the area. And in the end, these two pieces created specifically for their new home were the winners. The idea for this project really originated from my interest in how we share our urban spaces with animals. I mean, typically we think about wildlife as being um, out of the forest somewhere in some kind of idealistic field. But really, as our urban centers expand, we're seeing a lot more deer and coyotes and rabbits and birds inhabiting the city around us. And so these pieces really originated from um, that interest. Now you know the story of how these two unique sculptures came to be. It was gold, Jan. It was gold. The trick is, is if I'm going to remember any of this. That was a good one. That was a good one. I'm crying, though. This was so good, I started crying. <laughs>